Good morning preps and welcome to reading on this Thursday morning. We're going to be looking at the NG digraph this morning. Now we've learnt that sound. We need to combine the N sound and the G sound and it goes together and it makes a N sound. N. Okay, that's the sound we're going to be working with and we're going to build some words with that sound for our digraph flower. So let's do it with the magnetic letters first. All of these letters today are going to have the letter I in them and I will be making an I sound. So to get us started, let's go up here. We've got W, I, N. Now, if that's tricky, that's okay. What I would do is I'd cover that first sound and I would just put these two together. Ing, ing. Now let's add the W. Wing. Ooh, it's like a bird's wing. Let's write that down. W, I, N. Then I can draw a big flappy wing. There we go. Wing. Now moving down, the only sound that will change is the first sound. So we've got the ing here still. We worked that out just before, so we don't need to work it out again. And that's what good readers do. Once they've worked out some sounds, they can just use them. But we do need to change the first sound. We need to use a K making a K sound. So K ing, K ing, king. Aha! It's the word king. draw a crown. There we go. Now moving down, I'm going to grab my letter I. We're just changing that first sound. We've had w, k, and now we've got r. The rest of it though, this word family, the ing word family, will stay the same. R ing, ring, ring. Ring, ring, there goes the telephone. <laughs> or I love diamond rings. Oh, you this is about gold by your diamond ring. That's, oh, our doorbell you. seems to ring a lot at our place. <laughs> oh, you could do a doorbell. I've done a diamond <laughs> ring for this one. That's a good one. Okay, now we're going to change just that first sound again. We're still working with the ing word family. This time we've got a s in front. So moving these down. S ing. S ing. Sing. What's something you like to do in the mornings, Mrs. Mack? And at lunchtime, and in the afternoons, <laughs> and in the evenings, and just before bed, I sing and often annoy my family. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're going to move the S down here. This is where it gets tricky. I know you've thought, Mrs. Mack, this is really easy. Why are you even teaching me this? But here we go. Hang on. This is getting really challenging now. So we've got our word family. We're still going to be using ing. Oh, thank goodness, there's something we've already worked out. But we've got some blending sounds at the front, all right? So we've got, well, we, that's a bit like what we just saw, ring. But now we've got a sp spur, spur ing, spring. Ooh, spring out of bed in the morning and start singing. All right, so we've got spring, or it could be, the season, couldn't it? We're in spring and the flowers are out. And the baby lambs are being born. I like to check that in the paddocks when I go to work. They're so cute. They are. Alrighty. And we've got another blend down here. I'm going to bring my R down. We're still working with ing, thank goodness, because this is challenging. We've got a different blend at the beginning. Str. Ing, string, string. Ooh, there we go. So, st, r, ing. And there's my ball of string for my little cat mm -hmm. to play with. There we go. Alrighty, Prep. So, you're going to be making those words. Now, here's the tricky bit. The way they've done this, they've got that NG in the middle, but I is sitting here. Now you know that I will go in front of the word of the NG digraph because we've been practicing it. So that will give you some clue as to where to put that NG digraph. So let's practice one together. Might do a really tricky one. Spur, 
So I'm going to copy it. Spur. E. Mmm. Spring. And then, do you remember what to do once you've worked out that petal and you've added the digraph to it? You get to colour it in. And if you want to draw the pictures around the, the flower, you can. Or if you want to cut the flower out and stick it on your window, you can do that too. Or you could stick it in your book and make it look gorgeous. But you're going to slowly go around and put that NG digraph with all those starting sounds. Good luck. See you later, preps.